Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl, Carissa, and welcome back to my kitchen. And today I am prepping up some delicious Asian uh, slaw for my food prep. Now, uh, it's pretty simple to do. So this, uh, this recipe is going to be great, easy, simple, no problem, easy peasy, right? Um, but I'm going to pair this Asian sauce, Asian slaw salad uh, with some Asian inspired chicken. So I'm going to grill the chicken here in a little bit. That's not going to be recorded because you guys all know how to grill chicken, hopefully. If not, that's a different video for a different time. Uh, but today I'm just showing you how quickly you can put together a beautiful uh, side for food prep. It's easy. It's something, honestly, you guys could take to a picnic or to a party or anything like that. Okay. All right. So let me pull up my recipe. And the things that we are going to need today is I went ahead and made up a bunch of quinoa. Um, so I have some quinoa sitting that has been um, sitting and getting cooled uh, because you don't want to add the, like hot quinoa just got done into like a whole cold salad. So I have a bunch of quinoa uh, made up. Now this week I'm also making a dinner with that includes quinoa. So guess what I did? I thought ahead because when you plan ahead, you are, um, you know, you're set up for success. But yeah, I made a, a bunch of quinoa. So the other stuff's in the fridge and all ready for the weeknight's meals. It's going to speed up my weeknight meal as well. So I've got cold quinoa here. I've got a, a head of cabbage. Cabbage is super cheap, super good. I, we all love cabbage in my family. I have snow peas. So we're going to slice that up, dice it up here in a minute. Now the recipe does call for two carrots, but I already had a bag of shredded carrots. So guess what? We're gonna press the easy button and use the shredded. It also calls for some green onion, some ginger, some cilantro uh, that I've already washed. Um, and that's kind of it. Now for the dressing, it calls for rice, wine, vinegar. We have the liquid coconut um, aminos, which someone said, asked last week, they asked me, because um, I was cooking with coconut aminos again for a Korean beef bowl, and they said, what is it? Where can I find it? It's pretty much soy sauce, but it's gluten-free. Um, it's a little bit more pricier, but hey, if you're like me, you got to be gluten-free. You know, you always go for what you need. Um, and then we're also going to do sesame oil, which I absolutely love. I love, love, love sesame oil. Okay, so the only other thing is we have some EVO oil. Okay, so this is extra virgin olive oil. You could use avocado oil as well. The only thing that you're gonna notice in the ingredients and um, in the recipe once I post it is it does call for some cashews, roughly chopped. I'm not a cashew fan. I don't like peanuts in my stuff. So feel free if you like peanuts in your stuff and cashews and nuts, go ahead and add them in, but I am not going to add them in. So again, it's not gonna make or break anything. All right, so here we go, empty bowl, right? I'm going to add three-fourths cup quinoa. So I've got my three-fourths. Now I'm going to double this recipe so that I have six meals at the end of the day, five to six meals. So I'm going to double that up, okay? Oh, it looks so good. So I'm going to add a little half more. If you guys have been following me, you know that I really don't measure a ton because I just follow my gut, follow my heart, follow my taste buds. Like I trust all that. Uh, but if you don't know how to cook, follow the recipe. All right, so that's in the bowl. Then I'm going to add, um, I'm going to go ahead and just roughly chop a fourth of a bunch of cilantro, okay? Now, my husband used cilantro for his rice cilantro, cilantro lime rice, uh, inspired by, of course, Chipotle for his chicken lunches. Um, but this week I wanted to mix things up. So normally we food prep the exact same thing because we keep things easy and simple, but we had something very similar last week and I wanted to change up the flavor today. So what we do is we take our cilantro, we bunch it up in a nice little bunch and we just give it a chop, right? We want it nice and small. So we're just going to keep folding it in together and until we're gonna get a nice chop. I love cooking with herbs, especially cilantro. So um, I guess what I was going at with my husband is 
Normally I would show you the whole bunch of cilantro, but he decided to use it all. So luckily I have like barely enough to put any in my recipe, but he honestly, there was also my parsley in that same container and he thought I had a whole nother bunch. So this is what we got to work with. So we're gonna use it. All right, so that goes in with the quinoa. Easy peasy, okay. Then we need two cups of cabbage. Again, we are doubling this recipe. So go ahead and just cut that sucker down the middle, put it into quarters. Now I want small pieces because again, it's a salad. You could have even pressed the easy button again and bought a whole bag of shredded cabbage, but a whole head is a little cheaper. And I'm trying to teach you guys that eating healthy does not have to cost you a lot of money. I'm just going to chop this up. I'm shredding it, okay? I want to give it a, a, you know, like sticks, skinny, small, right? And once it's cut one way, I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna cut it the other way. Now, so many people tell me that food prep takes forever. Um, of course, it may have taken me a lot longer uh, 10 years ago when I was first starting. So just remember you guys, if you're just starting to food prep, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. You're not gonna have mastered all kinds of different things. So I had my quinoa going while I was at the gym. See, so the quinoa was done. It was ready to go. Just like my husband's rice where, you know, we put that sucker in the rice cooker and then we left to the gym. So that way when we get home, it's done. All right, so technically it calls for two cups. So we're gonna do that just to kind of show you that if I was to measure. All right, so we need some more. So we're gonna keep on cutting. The food prep actually helps me in so many ways, right? I work from home, yes, but I'm busy. I'm just like all of you guys. I have kids, I'm running people to work. Uh, I have client calls, the phone rings, things like that. So my life is just as busy. So of course I think that food prep, even though I work from home, uh, saves a lot of time during my busy day. This way I can spend more time eating my food like outside enjoying the sunshine, getting a little break from work versus cooking it uh, you know, during my lunchtime. Yes, I still have a lunchtime. All right, so we've got our cabbage done. Then it calls for two cups shredded carrots. So if you had just normal carrot sticks, again, which would be the cheaper version, like a big normal carrot stick. So you're gonna normally shave uh, the outer layer off with like a potato peeler, and then you're gonna slice it up or grate it up, but press the easy button and get it done. You guys are gonna know I'm all about pressing the easy button. All right, one cup goes in, but we need two cups. Boom, so we're doubling it, boom. And this is actually gonna give me so much cold, like slaw for the week, uh, but you guys, it's so good. So more than likely I'll eat it uh, in the evening. Plus we're going to like a paint and sip night tomorrow night. So I may you know, end up taking some of it there. You'd rather have too much than too little. All right, so with that, we want one cup of snow peas. Now, no, I'm not gonna just throw them in there like this because that'd be freaking weird. Um, but I am going to kind of put them all together. I'm going to start chopping. These are like amazing snacks with like hummus too. FYI. All right. I always say if you're the chef, you get to eat as you go if you want. Only if it's healthy. Okay. It's a nice rough chop with my snow peas, so delicious. So that goes into the pot or the bowl. Put that aside as I go. Here comes the green onions. It calls, the recipe's gonna call for one green onion. We're doubling it, but I love green onion. I love the flavor them. So I'm going to just take a bunch. Because to me, you can't ever have enough bright green veggies in a salad. Okay. 
Beautiful. Got some of those left too. All right. So we're almost down to the last ingredient. I don't need that anymore. Comes to the ginger. Ginger kind of looks funky, right? It's got all kinds of funky shapes, but I've already used some of this to marinate my chicken. So this is now, this is what I'm left with. Now this recipe is going to call for, doo -doo, oh, actually this is for the dressing. Okay. All right. So if I'm not adding the cashews, this mix is good to go. So I'm going to just kind of mix it up, y'all. Now that quinoa brings in those healthy carbs for me. This, this recipe is gluten-free, um, which is, is good for me. Um, but this is, oh my gosh, this is it's already smelling so good. And it's just the veggies. All right, so nice mix. This is a lot, but remember, once you add the dressing, everything's overnight's gonna start to take in like, in, like it's all going to start to absorb it. And it is just like old slaw gonna shrink down. So if you're like, oh my God, this is too much. Just chill, right? Let it do its thing and it'll come down. Okay, so that's completely mixed. Here we go. So before I throw all my liquids in, let's just go ahead and chop up that, uh, that ginger. So this recipe specifically calls for a half an inch. Okay, so I'm just gonna guess, and to me, ginger is super healthy and I love ginger. It's like one of my favorite things when we go to a sushi restaurant. So personally, I'm going to just start putting a crap ton of ginger in. But I am going to show you, since this is a dressing, we don't just want giant chunks of ginger. Ginger's kind of spicy if you're not used to working with it. Um, okay, so I've got it down to like an inch, right? Like a, a, a cube, if you will. But I need two of these. So let me... So what I'm doing right now, you guys, I'm just cutting off the outer layer. It's like... It's a root vegetable, right? So it's got like skin to it um, and we don't want the skin. Got this grater um, and you could have a big stand up one. I don't need that one out for this. So I'm just gonna use this one. It's a little cheaper version. So I'm gonna be very careful because these are sharp, um, but I'm gonna take my bowl, which is where my dressing's all gonna go. And I'm just gonna start shaving the ginger. Watch your nails, ladies, watch your thumbs. Your skin. Oh my God, I love ginger. I use ginger in the Korean beef bowls too. So if you guys, if you've been planning your meals, like what I teach my clients how to do, a little bit of prep and then for preparation goes a long way, okay? So I've got a lot there. I'm just gonna... Okay, next, next piece. But yeah, I used, so like two weeks ago, when I was at the grocery store, I bought a crap ton of ginger. Ginger like takes forever to go bad too. So if it only, if you only like have a giant bag of it, just get it. You're going to use it. If not, you make it a point to use it when you're starting to plan the upcoming weeks. Okay. So I'm just going to again, take what's there. Love ginger. Okay. So those little pieces that I couldn't get at the end because I was like not going to cut my knuckles with, I'm just going to give them a rough chop. Okay. Because I like ginger. So I don't care if it's that big or if that's chunky. Okay. I like to clean as I go because it just drives me crazy. Uh, I'm done with the knife. Done with the grater. Uh, all right, here we go. In our bowl, we're making the dressing now. So we want three tablespoons of olive oil. So technically we want six. This is where it's super easy. So another benefit to food prepping is, you know, earlier I told you it saves me time during my work day. But another benefit to food prepping is that it, it saves me money, all right? So all of these ingredients, including my chicken breast, probably costed me roughly, and I'll do the math here uh, after the video is done, but it probably cost me less than 25 bucks, right? And I'm going to get six meals out of this. Um, it's definitely cost me less than 25. I mean, my whole grocery bill was like 120 and that was for dinners and breakfast and everything. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very, very cost effective. I'll do the math here in a little bit, um, but it saves me money. So all of you guys who think like eating healthy is expensive, it's not you going through the drive through and Starbucks and, you know, Pizza Hut on the way home. That's expensive. That stuff is crazy ridiculous. 
All right, one tablespoon sesame oil. I love sesame oil. This is something that's always in my house. It's a staple. I cook, you know, chicken fried rice with it. I, I just, I cook my green beans with it. All right, I know it calls for one. I'm supposed to double it for two, but I've given it three because I love sesame oil. All right, next is, um, let's see, coconut aminos, actually. So one tablespoon of this, again, going for two. I'll probably give it two and a half. Because remember, I kind of gave myself a little bit of extra quinoa in that bowl. So yeah, okay. The point is, you guys, food doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to complicate this process. All right, rice, wine, vinegar, one tablespoon. So it gives me two and a half or three. Rough measurements here. Now, if we were baking cookies, you totally want to follow the directions, which is why I'm not a great baker, and which is a good thing because bake, baking is like a lot of sugar and sweet and crap like that. So I'm glad that I'm not the baker in the family. That's I'll leave that job for my sister. Um, okay, so that was it. I'm going to give this a quick whisk up, quick stir, because just like olive oil and vinegar, it's going to separate. So I'm going to mix it up, mix, 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 till it's all mixed. Now, you, if you ended up loving this dressing, you could make a whole, like, save like a pickle jar for it and make a whole, like, batch of it. And then you could always just be putting it on other things. Okay. Mixed up. While it's mixed, we're going to combine it all. So good. Oh my God. I love the smell of this stuff. I love Asian. All right. So we're going to mix this up. I'm going to then come back here in just a minute. I'm going to divide it out for y'all. And I'm going to show you everything put together in just a minute. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm going to show you this real quick before I take a quick break. Portion it all out, show you my chicken all grilled up, and we'll be good to go. So good. You guys stay with me. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back and I've got my Asian slaw and I've got my grilled chicken that I have cut up. And now it's just time to put it together. So I'm going to add that slaw into the bigger part of my container. And remember, most of this is veggies and quinoa. So, so good. So good. All right, here we go. Now again, this was quinoa, a bunch of veggies, Asian dressing that I made homemade. We're going to go back in there and just add some of my protein, my chicken. Now, you guys, I just seasoned this chicken uh, with the exact dressing as the quinoa. So it's going to taste and complement it perfectly. All right, beautiful. Some more pieces here. Missed one. And we are all done with food prep this week, you guys. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me. Let me show you what we've got going on, okay? Six recipes. My husband's is done. He's got rice and ground chicken that's very spicy. Lots of jalapenos. He's a little crazy, but everyone else loves a lot of spice except for me. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this meal. Let me know if you plan on trying it. I want to even know once you do try it, what you think about it. So please comment below. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, follow me if this is this, this is you on Instagram. And definitely if you're a woman who is looking to find a community on Facebook that provides healthy recipes just like this, free workouts, mindset hacks, please join the Healthy Hustle. Uh, that's again on Facebook, Healthy Hustle. You do have to be a woman. And you guys, I would love to see you over in that community. Have a beautiful day. Bye.